Hello and welcome to Ape Exotics. Today we are at with Speranza. I wonder what we'll find today. Looking around, checking in crevices, lifting rocks, we will see. bit about this little body. Hasarius Adansoni is the scientific name of the spider. The male is mostly black with red markings and white pedipalps. A white crescent is present on the back part of the abdomen and another one on the front part. There are two small white dots on the back and two even smaller ones towards the very end. These white areas, especially on the pedipalps, have a mother of pearl like iridescence. However, the female is less vividly marked and usually dark brown. So our specimen here is a female. The female Hazarius Adansoni can grow up to 8 mm, while the males up to 6 mm. There are quite a number of different species of these spiders in Malta. The most common species is this jumping spider. It is found in warmer climates around the world, including Japan, Taiwan and Australia, but it has been introduced in many parts of the world, including colder areas, where it is often found in greenhouses. Hazarius Adansoni hunts flies and mosquitoes by stalking them slowly and finally jumping on them. They do not use a web to catch their prey, so extraordinary, right? Hazarius Adansoni, like other jumping spiders, have the best vision of the fellow arthropods. They have four pairs of eyes, some of which are sensitive to a wide range of rays, including ultraviolet rays. Reproduction involves an interesting courtship, display consisting of dancing movements of the forelimbs, in which the male's hairs and colors are shown off to the female. It is thought that in at least one species, the female reflects ultraviolet rays before mating. It has also been recently discovered that many jumping spiders have good audit and males make sounds like buzzes and drum rolls. The female can lay up to 9 clutches. After mating, spiderlings can be up to 40 per clutch. This is one of the reasons why I like herping so much, because while I'm looking for reptiles or amphibians, I find other interesting creatures. Every time it is a learning experience. So now, like we always do, it is time to release our friend. Thanks for watching Ape Exotics. Hope you found today's video interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.